In this tutorial, we are going to go through subtraction of four digit numbers using the vertical format. Now, we have already gone through tutorials where we have subtracted two digit numbers and three digit numbers using the vertical format. This is the next step forward. So let's start with a nice easy example. What is 5,000, put a small comma, 473 minus 2,000, small comma, 285? 5,473 minus 2,285. Now, as you will recall, with the vertical format, what we have to do is to write these numbers down in columns. So let's do that. 5,473 minus 2,285. Now we can label the columns, we don't have to, but let's label them in the first instance. We've got units, tens, hundreds, and thousands. Now with the vertical format, what we do is we subtract column by column by column. And we always start with the column on the right hand side. So let's do this. What is 3 minus 5? 3 minus 5. Well, we can't do this because 3 is smaller than 5. So do you remember what we have to do? We will take 1 from here. We cross out the 7. We put in a 6. 7 minus 1 is 6. And we put 1 here. So this column now becomes 13 minus 5. 13 minus 5. That's right, it is 8. We now do the tens column. We don't have 7 anymore because we went from 7 to 6 because we wanted to add 1 here. So this is now 6 minus 8. 6 minus 8. We can't do this either because 6 is smaller than 8. So we do the same thing. We take 1 from the column to the left. So the 4, we cross out the 4, which becomes 3, and we put a 1 here. So we've taken 1 from here, and we've added it here. The 4 becomes a 3. The tens column now becomes 16 minus 8. 16 minus 8. That's right. The answer is 8. We now do the hundreds column. 3 minus 2. 3 minus 2. The answer is 1. And lastly, we do the thousands column. 5 minus 2. Well, that's nice and easy. It's 3. We can put a little comma here if need be. Right, and we have our answer. So 5,473 minus 2,285 is 3,188. Do you notice how easy it is, even four-digit numbers using the vertical format? So let's look at a slightly more difficult question. What is 7,000? 243 minus 3,786. The first thing we do is we write these numbers down in the vertical format. So let's do that. 7,243 minus 3,786. A nice equal sign at the bottom. 
And as with the first example, we subtract the top number, we subtract the bottom number from the top number, starting with the column on the right hand side. So the first one, 3 minus 6. Well, we can't do that because 3 is smaller than 6. So what do we do? We take 1 from the 4. Cross out the 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. And we put that 1 over here. So this column now becomes 13 minus 6. 13 minus 6. And what is the answer? It is 7. Now we do the tens column. 3 minus 8. 3 minus 8. Can we do that? Well, we can't, because 3 is smaller than 8. So what do we do? We take 1 from the column to the left. In this case it's a 2. We cross out the 2. 2 minus 1 is 1, and we're placing that 1 over here. This column now becomes 13 minus 8. 13 minus 8. That's right, it is 5. We now do the hundreds column, where we have 1 minus 7. Well, you know we can't do that, because 1 is smaller than 7. So what do we do? We take 1 from the left, cross out the 7. 7 minus 1 is 6, and we place that 1 over here. So this column now becomes 11 minus 7. Well, we can do that. 11 minus 7 is 4. And lastly, we do the thousands column. We've got 6 minus 3. 6 minus 3 is 3. Let's put a little comma here. And we have our answer. Let's go back to blue and we write it down. 7,243 minus 3,786 is 3,457. And that is subtraction of four-digit numbers. Just remember the format we use. Write them in nice, neat columns. If the top number is smaller than the number below, take one from the left. If it is not smaller, you do not have to take one from the left. Subtraction of four-digit numbers.